Not today. Hey, everybody. Is it time? It's time. Oh, my God. Yeah. What is it time for? It's time for Sunday, Sunday Bites and, and Tidbits. I'm Chef Bobette. And I'm Tara Bennett Smith. And girl, we got it this week. We did it, y'all. We did it, we right? We did it, and we didn't even practice. We sure didn't. We didn't even practice. But what's the show? Sunday Bites and Tidbits. Oh, we said that. You know, we almost had it down right until. That's all. <laughs> How's everybody doing? So so Today's color is red. Today's color is red. And oh, and what does red mean? Red, what does red mean to Power. you? Power. Power. We don't see, you don't say ER. Power. 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 P O W A. Power. To the like. Soul power. Power. <laughs> okay. Oh, my arm look weird up like that. Maybe not put it up. <laughs> Maybe do power. Yeah. Power. power. <laughs> there, we go. there we go. So and anyway. Make that face. I'm sorry. It's okay. So anyway, we are so excited today because we have <laughs> bad ass vegan. Bad ass. That was loud. I'm sorry, boo. Take it down. You're hurting our, our people's ears and stuff. We have badass vegans. We have badass vegan today. His name is John Lewis, but we know him as badass vegan. He's got a whole host of wonderful things that he's going to share with you today. Yes, he's got all kinds of with us. He's got all kind of things going on. Wonderful things we'll let him talk about. Phenomenal, phenomenal person. So are you gonna introduce you? Him? What, 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 before we start, I'm I just want so to introduce excited. last week we had Bina Nako oh, on. We did. And Bina sent us, we were gonna advertise her African shea butter. And trust me. Oh my god. O M G Q R S T U V. Anyway, um <laughs> remember last week I was saying that I broke out from these hives. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was eczema. I didn't know what it she was. She know what it was. And I did a cleanse for a couple of days. Yeah, we stopped And then eating. this came. We, we stopped eating stopped on Sunday. Eating. And then we stopped eating on Sunday. I didn't eat on Monday. And then this came on Tuesday. And so, and so the resident, the residue of my skin was kind of rough right. you know, from the thing. Mm -hmm. I put this on within hours. My skin was like smoothed out. It's like really soft, guys. No, look seriously, you guys. This. It's not and like the typical. Put some on me. Put some on me. And it's watch not out. like the typical. Watch, look, look, shea watch how it shines. Oh, and look. it's not your and typical it feels shea butter. Amazing. Yeah, and I have it on under my And you my can makeup eat today. it. She says it's it's eatable, edible, it's edible. Boo. That, no, I was just nice. kidding. It's, it's eatable. Y'all get some. Of it. Right. She said you could cook with it, put in it. But I'm telling you, it it is so smooth. You're not normal shea butter. You got yes, right. You and got to get all kind of warm it up, and then yes. it feels all grainy. grainy. Sometimes. No, this is beautiful. I'm smooth. getting ready to order me some more. So make sure, make sure if you, you want to know name. where it is. Where it is? I'm going to the chat section. Oh, um, oh, that's bad. That speaker was trying to say something. So we oh, was he trying to say something earlier? He was saying, My daughter's trying to say hi. Oh, we were, we I wasn't were, even scheduled. We so I don't know how to work these things. This stuff is like crazy. But we're getting it. You're learning. I'm not learning. You yes, you are. You're doing really oh, good. look at all the people who are here. Oh, my God. Who's here? Okay, we have Kelly, Kelly Jackson. Jackson. Hey, Kelly. Jacqueline Tramble. Hi. Tina D. Walker. Hey. Laura Russell. Hello. Kayla Heller. Pamela Bailey. Hello, my. Beautiful sisters, you both look beautiful and red. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. CD Senator. CD Senator. We Walker said said young. Young. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 this. She oh, that. Oh, okay. Um, who else? Woohoo. That looks great. Right. Okay. I okay. think we I think we, <laughs> you would think that we are some kind of drugs. We have water today. It's water. But anyway, we're so excited. We don't want to waste any more time because we want him. He's gonna show some things. He's got some stuff to talk about. But, but aren't you really excited about having John? I'm Lewis so excited on our about show? having John Lewis. On but, but we want to take a, just a second to offer our sincere condolences to the John Lewis who just made his transition. That's right. This brother, this brother. Well, without John Lewis and people we, like him, that wouldn't be us. Wouldn't that wouldn't be, be John Lewis. That's right. right. Now, we so. wouldn't be sitting here sharing yeah. all now because they probably wouldn't allow us on YouTube. There you go. Anyway, but we got a brother here today. I was so excited. Man. When I first met this brother, mm -hmm. he, he has always been like like a son to me. I always mm -hmm. felt like he was my son. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I when I was asking if he would be on the show, 
I was like, you know, you got to say yeah, because if you say no, <laughs> that's like telling your auntie no. You can't tell your auntie no. So that's how I get these youngsters. I just be like, you know. And, and luckily, they're youngsters who have respect, because some of the youngsters be like, I don't care. All, all the youngsters love me, though. I know. They always I know. Just, they, they, do. they do. They love me, too. They do. But you ain't old enough. Yeah, you're still such a baby. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, without further ado, we woozy. You want to introduce me? I want you to do it. You no, always do it so good. good. Okay, guys. You ready? Ladies, are you ready? He fine too, girls. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that too. Yeah. But we ain't going to promote that. I uh, know because he married. Well, I don't know that part. He is. You just met his baby. Yeah. And this baby was like, my daddy married. <laughs> Eric, come on. Well, you know what? Why <laughs> we, we don't want to talk about his personal life. We want to talk about his business. Okay. Um. Where is this in? Laura Russell said he's in a wonderful place. Oh, we're talking about the other genres. Anyway, woo 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 woo! Oh, wait, oh, no, 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 wait. Our oh, oh, badass oh, vegan. badass vegan. Well done, he's well coming. Done. He's coming. Yeah. There he goes. Hi, John. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I love you're wearing today, my dear. Thank you. See, I, I made it work. I made it work. Yes. It's uh, <laughs> so, so, um, do you prefer us to call you badass vegan or John or does it matter? Which whichever. To to go along with that though, first of all, thank y'all for having me here. Hey to everybody there. But <laughs> the story behind my name actually um my great great my grandfather wasn't the best of guys and his last name was Lewis. And I was gonna change my name a long time ago. And I had a friend, an elder friend, and he was like, you know what, you should really look into your name. It's a powerful name. It's a guy named John Lewis who has helped us throughout history of battling social justice. And you you have a lot in common. You should look him up. And when I looked him up, that's the only reason why I kept my name. I'm wow. so, that's a good that's story. A good story. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, that's yeah. the only reason I kept my name is because of John Lewis. Well, there you wow. go. Because I immediately, when I saw the posting, because I know there was floating around for a few days that he was something had happened, and people say, No, get your facts straight. Yeah. And then they finally posted that uh, he had actually made his transition. I was like, John Lewis? Yeah. All right, who's that John Lewis? I said, Wait a minute, this is a badass vegan's name, John Lewis. Yeah. So, wow, that's good for you. What a, what a beautiful uh, legacy to carry on. There you go. Yeah. You know? it's it's a it's it's a pressure now. I gotta I gotta step I know, up. Right. <laughs> I can't fall short now, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and are you a junior? No, I'm not a junior. No. Okay, because so, if you said junior, everybody said, oh, your dad. It would well, be I, I lived in Atlanta for a year, and uh -huh. I swear, anytime somebody saw my ID or something, they were like, oh, my God, that shit. I'm like, no, that's not my dad. I'm like, <laughs> 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 I'm like that's not my dad. I was like, sorry, but that's not my dad. But a lot of people thought it was. Yeah. Well, sweetheart, we know you have a lot going on, um, mm -hmm. and we're just so very honored and excited for you to be here and share this time with us. Thank you so much. But what we really want to do is allow you, I don't want to cheat anybody. I want to get the most out of this 45 minutes or so. Well, now we have, no, we have 55. We have 55, okay. okay. So what we want to do is um, ask you first how yeah. you got started. How you guys, I want you to open up and just kind of share a journey with us. Yeah, start up, we'll ask you some questions, but let's start up how this whole thing happened for you. Uh, as far as like badass vegan or just uh, vegan, too badass you. vegan. What's your name? <laughs> name is John Lewis, but badass vegan is what they call me. <laughs> All right. how, okay, how did you become a vegan first? Like, uh, what did you try? Veganism came about. Um, my mother was diagnosed with colon cancer about 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. I had always been vegetarian. I moved to Miami. I was experimenting, and I had uh, I had already been vegetarian for about almost a year and a half, and my mom was diagnosed with the colon cancer. Talking to the doctors, I found out it was, you know, related to the animal protein and the fatty fried foods and all that. So I did more research. You know, at, at the beginning, I'm like, no, nah, that's not it. I'm like, this is not hereditary. He's like, no, nah, this is a lifestyle choice. And I'm like, wow, like, okay. So I started doing research. Said that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and to this day, I, I don't know who that doctor was or whatever. It was just something. Because at the time, I wasn't thinking about being vegan. I would have paid way more attention. If You know how everybody, before they went vegan, thought that everybody was talking vegan was crazy? Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, that's not it. But I started actually doing more research. And that's when I found more and more about, like, it wasn't just the cancer, but all these other things, like the hypertension and the 
heart disease, and this the list goes on that was related to animal products. So um, yeah, I decided to go ahead and do it, and it's been 14 years now. Um, and I got into the health and fitness aspect because uh, there was a at home workout program called P90X, and uh, that's how I got started in the fitness industry. So a lot of people, if you if you want to go laugh. Go look at the P90X ads. And you'll see me over there. <laughs> really? You were in the ads? I was in the ads and the commercials. I was in the second round because I actually did the program after it came out. And a friend of mine saw my results. And he was like, dude, he was like, man, you should submit your, your pitches. I'm like, nah, I'm always very like critical of myself. I'm like, nah, I'm, I don't I shouldn't do that. He's like, no, nah, you should. And the owner hit me up and was like, we would love to use you. You know, uh, in our ads and commercials, I'm like, all right, let's go. And then when people, wait, 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 one second, you were vegan at this time or no? Vegetarian? Yeah, I was. I was. Oh, you were vegan at this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. By, by the time the ads all came out and everything, I was already vegan. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Because I went vegan halfway through the program. I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm bull crap. And let me just go ahead and just change it on up. Uh, and that's when I did. And then when people found out I was vegan, that's when I got a lot of notoriety because people were like, wait. So you can be vegan and you can be in shape. I'm like, yeah, like, like to be honest, when I did it, I didn't, I didn't have any second guesses. I was just like, oh, it can be done. All I gotta do is just replace this with this and just keep going. Um, and that's how that's how it all came about. And backtrack, I was I was obese as a kid. I, at 13, I was 315 pounds. My first. Oh, wow. No. And I wasn't six. Oh, right, John. Because you're about you're how tall? Six six. Wow, and, and you weren't even that. So do you think that some of that weight was because you know how people go out this way and then they stretch up that way? It, it definitely was a stretch. It was a stretch, but I was way more active too. Like, you know, before high school, the, the little league games you play, it's not, yeah, yeah. You know, the practices are not as strenuous. You know, practicing little league is basically just a coach rolling out some balls on the court and saying, all right, I'll see y'all in two hours. You know, that's what... <laughs> I got to high school and they was like, no, nah, we start off with a mile run. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you mean I got to actually run a mile run? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it was, it would be more active at the same time. I was, in all honesty, I was still eating junk. I mean, I was in high school. I didn't know any better, you know, and, you know, mom did the best she could with the knowledge she had. Right. But I, I, I could honestly tell you, I had some sort of fried chicken in some kind of form at least four times a week. <laughs> and she got that Sam's whole a wholesale membership card. It was a wrap. <laughs> Sam's card. <laughs> Think about that. That's back in the in the early nineties. She got that Sam's card. It was that was gold. <laughs> Deep freezer and it was a wrap. <laughs> Oh, you didn't even have to fry the chicken yourself. The chicken was already fried. You just eat it up. Breaded everything, you know. So, you know, and then and then as time go on, grew on. I started to be more conscious about what I was putting in my body. You know, and I, I, one thing for me, even before my mother got sick was, I just started seeing more and more of my family going through all these struggles. And I was like, wait a minute, this is this, this don't seem normal. And everybody was like, well, you know, she is like 45. I'm like, wait, 45? Yeah. I'm from the, you know, I was raised. I know, I get it. I'm from, my family's from South Carolina, I know. Yeah, you know, I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh-huh. My mom moved to Ferguson when I was two. So, you know, our family, if it ain't got fat back or uh, some oh, kind of water, it, it ain't even real. Like, that ain't even real food. So, come on, greens without yeah. greens without hog marbs or fat back. Yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have yeah. any greens. Like, what, what's going on? Here? So, yeah, yeah. So, I just started looking at that and looking at all the medications people were taking. Like, oh, it was normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and it was normal. So I was like, nah, let me change this stuff. So like like now, at my age, I've seen that I'm definitely the only person in my immediate family, brother, sister's mother, that hasn't taken any medication, you know what I'm saying, at all, compared wow. to everybody else. And I've been doing it 14 years now. So when they, you know, when I go to family reunions and they're all laughing at me, I'm like, how's that blue pill? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's amazing. Hi again. Okay, she wants to say hi. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on I see you got sleep, baby. I know. Oh. You want to go see? You're not coming live. You're not gonna let us see your face. You can't 
cry, it's fine. The crowd, it's a crowd. You can't cry. Yes, you cry, but not, not because you gotta go to sleep. Uh, yes, I can. Let's see how cute. No, you. I said she can cry, just not because she gotta go to sleep. Oh, you made her mad. No, it wasn't me. She gotta go to sleep. It's, it, uh, remember, she don't, don't want to go to bed. Yeah, she. Oh, that's well, right. You're on a different coast. I thought you were here. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm East Coast. Where, where are you? I'm in Miami. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. So she, she. Yeah. You know what, sweetie? You're gonna appreciate the bedtimes as you get older. <laughs> right. When you get older, you like, man, I wish I would take advantage of every nap. <laughs> I wish I could go to bed right now. Shoot. <laughs> and also, you know, it just it just keeps you energetic and gives you more energy because you've gotten your body your body's gotten rest. Oh, I'm a big promoter of adult naps. I am. I am I, you I'm know not, what? I'm not only the president, I'm a client of the nap club. I am. <laughs> hey, how about this, badass vegan? We'll be talking and I will fall asleep oh, on yes, you she will. in the middle of the conversation. Oh, yes, she will. If it's nap time. Yes. She it's will. like, shut it down. That's it. Done. <laughs> That's right. Then, so okay. So now, so now you've been a vegan for fourteen years. What was as Babette always asked? Has your reasons shifted a little bit? At one point, it was about you watching the health of your family, and you know, and, the, and those little blue pills. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, we're gonna stop that yeah. now. But has your reasons for doing it uh, expanded? Have they broadened? Have they broadened some? Right. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Like it was. It was selfish to start off with. Right. But now it's it's bigger than me. Like it's yeah. bigger than like the social justice side. Like part of the film is looking at how part of what film, John? Wait, 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 wait. We got to part of what film, John? Okay, let's go back and talk about just talk about what your what your, the broaden. No, let's talk okay. about the broadness of what is happening. Yeah. We, we want you to share the film. So yeah. he's going to show a um clip. He's got a clip for us. Too. So I would say uh, from social justice to the 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 economy to the earth to the animals to making sure I raise them right you know what I'm saying to be as peaceful as they can and as healthy as they can um, and also I have to be that example like I don't want to be that parent that's trying to promote something to my kids but I'm living a whole other lifestyle yes you know what I'm saying which is basically a hypocrite you know and I, that's one thing I, I I strive not to be as a hypocrite right so. Yeah, it definitely brought and there's been so many reasons. So many reasons. Cause so you know, so so what's going on tell right us now? about this? What, you what's know, happening with you with you working on a project? Right. Tell us about so, it. So for anybody that has seen um seen What the Health, yeah. uh, uh, I am co directing and co producing the follow up film to What the Health with Keegan Coon, who was the director and producer of What the Health. Um the new film this huh? I said, that's excellent. Oh, thank you. And this film is going to be called, well, actually, this film is based off of social justice and food justice through the lens of hip hop. Um, anybody that's watching this, I did interview Bobette uh, for the film. She will yes. be in it. <laughs> um, and the name of the film, the running title was Hungry for Justice. We used that because we didn't want to give up the name of the title. But now that we uh, launched the uh, crowdfunding campaign, we finally released the name of the film. And the name of the film is They're Trying to Kill Us. Oh, mm -hmm. lovely. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. It's, and it's true. true. What it's the hell? It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we've been to read everybody from Bobette to Maya, Stick from Dead Prayers, um, uh, Mathematics from the Wu Tang Clan, Gray from uh, Official Gray did the Thanksgiving Vegan Rap, um, Damon Dash. Man, so, so many people here. But, we got over 125 interviews already, and we probably got another like 25 to 30 to go. Oh, that's because you know what the health change a lot some of minds, lives. a lot of minds were changed after they saw that that particular documentary. Um, mm -hmm. so I understand you have a clip for us today. Yeah, I will share that if uh, would, you, would you share it with us? I'm sure everybody would, would y'all like to see a clip of his. New documentary, and guess what? They want to see it. They don't want to see it. We don't have to do it. Right, we can no, wait. no, we want to see it. So <laughs> they're saying, they're saying, oh yeah, no, they're saying, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah Somebody saying, oh, oh she's a cutie. Oh. They said she's a she is a cutie. <laughs> she is a cutie. She yeah. was smiling with us a minute ago. Okay, can y'all see that? Yeah, we ready. We see it. And Jane is saying, great title. If all BLM merged joined. 
hashtag boycott needed would cripple the GOP. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's let's make sure this is ready. Let's go. This is the neighborhood I grew up in, right in Ferguson. A friend of mine was actually shot in his driveway right there. You put drugs in the communities, put guns in the community, put disease in the communities, put put food in the communities. All these things are designed to shorten your life expectancy. It's by design. It is not accidental that this is what's in here and this is what's over there. There's actually an active hand in making sure that we are living like this. It's all about control, money, and survival to them. Your debt is not an expense to them. It's an expense to you. They're trying to make money from us, even if it's at the expense of killing us. You just die slow. Your family just watches you die. The alcohol industry, the fast food industry, tobacco industry, target communities of color. Your health is not their main priority. They're trying to keep you safe. We are in a state of emergency when it comes to our health. Keeping people sick is very lucrative. Now you want pills. Now you want dialysis. Now you want medicine. You go into the hospital on a regular to see a doctor. Everybody's getting paid except you. Big pharma and pharmaceutical companies are making billions of dollars off of all of us. As long as they can make that dollar, they don't care if you live or die. It's something about being here that's making black people sick. Everybody's getting paid, except you. You heard that there are more dangerous and harmful chemicals and products made for women of color. It absolutely is a crisis. They don't make a day with the dope game. It's kind of like the dope gang. It is the dope gang. It's just a bigger gangster. The mob boss. You look at the hidden hand, you see that government is feeding the crisis. The Fed will knowledge to sign the food. It's about money over people's health. If you can control a population's access to food, you can control the person. Only about 8% of African Americans even live in communities that have a grocery store in them. Because the food really problem is the food. The poor diets kill more brothers and sisters. You know, we fighting for our lives. That's like Michael Vick. Books. And as black men, we're dying off so quickly in so many ways. It's here, pocketed in our communities. They don't want a healthy population. That is injustice. Plain and simple. The powers that be are making that money at the top. Are they trying to kill us? Wow. They are. Wow. That's, That's what we Wait for that one. Who the directors? Let's see. Here we come. Oh, is, that, is there more? No, no, that's it. I'm trying to get back to. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, you can't see us, but we can see you. Yeah, we're okay. I, I know I need to go somewhere. I don't know where I need to go. I can't help you. I, but, <laughs> but we see you, darling. That's okay. excellent. That's- that film is going to be a major, major hit. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Um, any idea like how soon or how close we are to you the are now we? Yeah, to we are to seeing it. Uh, well. We were scheduled to stop shooting in June, but oh, yeah, to, obviously, yeah, everything that happened, we had to slow down with that. Um, so now we're we're looking to stop shooting in September, and then the goal is to be on the market by the end of the year. Okay, oh, that's excellent. Uh, the goal is to be on the the goal is to be on the market. Okay, okay. <laughs> the goal is to be in the market by the end of the year. I, I especially want to make sure that I, I do it right when people are sitting down having those horrible meals as a family, and then they can watch the movie as a family <laughs> and, and learn more about what they're eating. So I would say either around November, end of November, end of December, and, and even for New Year's resolutions would be good too. Excellent, excellent. That's gonna be great. I mean, and, and and everyone in there is not necessarily vegan. All of those artists were vegans. Actually, yeah, everybody was vegan. Right. That's excellent. Yeah, everybody in there was vegan. Wow, I had no idea all of those people were vegan. Yeah, yeah, everybody in everybody in that clip was vegan. Wow, well, that's even so much more interesting to know that so many people of color, of African American people, are switching now because mm-hmm. they. You still haven't found this yet? You can't see us? Well, we're still the fastest I, I, growing. As long as y'all see me, it's all good. Whatever. We're the fastest growing demographic, they say, of uh, people that are transitioning and becoming vegan. Right. So so w- with everything that you do, tell us, what's what's a day in the life of John Lewis right now? Uh, 
I, I am very fortunate to be able to work remotely. So you're seeing most of the day <laughs> right here. Um, daddy's girl, is she a daddy's girl? Oh man, and my son is a, is a which is rare, is a, is a daddy's boy. So like- they, You got them both. Yeah, people always are like, how do you, uh, how do you work balance? I'm like, they usually just write on my lap while I'm working. Like, geez, like, I don't even, I don't even try to like hide it from. Because the thing is, I, they might not want to follow the same footsteps as me, but I at least want to give them the. They the only people that give the game for free. Let's say that you know, like, if I can give you the education on what's going on, I might as well do yes. it. Do um, but also so, the time is so special. You know what I mean? Like you're educating exactly. them. On you're educating them on what to put in their body. They're learning from you, but they're also learning, you know, emotional. They're learning the attachment. They're learning, you know, uh, there's a lot of what they're getting that can't even be spoken, you know, just to know that they can sit on your lap when you're working. Right. That it's not go over there or I'm trying to do something. Be quiet. Yeah. Sit that down, is, shut I mean, up. You know, there are times when you have to do that, but overall, yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah. yeah, overall, this is like something they will never, ever, 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 ever forget. And, and a big thing I also do is like, I, I also want them to understand like, I didn't grow up with a father. So I don't have an example of what a good father is, but I do know that me being around is big. Like most of the time, and Bob Eric could tell you, I travel probably about 100,000 miles a year, sky miles. So I'm, I'm in the air, but when I'm home, I'm home for two, three weeks at a time too. So like, I'm more fortunate than the, I guess the average dad that works a nine to five Mm -hmm. where, you know, he's gone all day. By the time he gets home, tries to do what he can. You know, so I, I'm, I'm very fortunate in the, in the lifestyle that I have to be around as much as possible. So so besides the documentary, what else are you doing? Like, what else is going on? Um, I own a protein shake company by the name of Vegan Sport. We're the largest Black-owned uh, protein shake company. Um, I, actually, this shirt, it's got a little bit of the company on the back. Yeah, let's share some of what that is. Um, so yeah, we're we're 20 grams of protein. We just launched a organic line as well. Uh -huh. We are in on Walmart.com. We're uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, we were in Whole Foods. We were in a couple different companies. Um, but when we were in Whole Foods, they moved us to Amazon Prime. Uh, uh -huh. Say goodbye. Wait, bye. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. See you soon. They moved us to Amazon. So why was that? Uh, because when they, uh, I guess when they they were just reconsolidating everything, so that's why they did it. Uh, so it was, but you know, it's and I hate to say it, I, I give respect not only because of the protein shake, but also because of the film. But the current situation and the current, you know vibe of the country right now more com more companies are looking at black owned companies mm -hmm. so we've been you know approached by some bigger name companies even ones that we were already in now wanting us to come back so that's that's a good thing that they're now looking into us more so you'll probably see us back in the mainstream what's, the name, of it? what's the name of this the, um uh vegan smart vegan, vegan smart okay yeah, if anybody looks under uh instagram it'll be live vegan smart Mm -hmm. If you look on Amazon Prime or whatever, it's uh, just vegan smart. Okay. We have uh, Thai chocolate vanilla. I gave you some, didn't I, Bob? You gave me some. And um, I I have somebody that just contacted me this week, so I want to make sure I give them the right information about <laughs> the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, like I said, we we were using, uh, so we use five blends. We use uh, quinoa, uh, chia, chlorella, pea, potato. Um, but we used to use hemp, but at, at, a, at a certain time, we were actually working on negotiations with the armed forces, and they don't even allow... Oh, okay. They don't allow hemp at all. So... Even yeah. hemp? Yeah, no hemp. Sounds like something else going on when you get some hemp. Right, and hemp has no, like, THC in it, nothing. They just... No. So, so we, give me, I'm gonna type it in. Um, um, John, what is what is the name again? Live. Uh, live. L i b e. L i b e. Vegan smart. Vegan, and this is the that's you said it's on Instagram. Live vegan smart. Yeah, that's what it is on Instagram. Okay. 
I'm like typing it in so everyone can have it. Live vegan smart. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so you've got you've got your products that you're about to sell. Um, and you're selling them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and uh, I'm working on a book as well. I just got done talking to a literary agent last week. So we should be working on the negotiations with that coming up soon. And, and so what is the book about you or is it about your lifestyle? What is it about? Yeah, a little bit about my journey, but but more information for the reader to learn more about health and fitness within the vegan lifestyle. Not trying to be a, a, a supermodel or trying to be a fitness model, just learning the health side uh, and the importance of the fuel that you put in the body. And then, um, also, it's going to be uh, recipes, meal guide, all oh, kinds excellent. of things. Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. So Kelly Jackson has a question. Is the pea sprouted first? It is not sprouted. It is not sprouted. Okay. So. Okay. We, we, well, this is the thing. And I, and I tell people this all the time. I, I love the suggestions that people give me. But the reason why it's not as detailed as like I would have it on a normal basis because I'm the only organic vegan protein that you're going to find for under $30. Oh, okay. Because I come from the hood and I wanted to make sure everybody could purchase this. Right. Not use the excuse that, you know, veganism costs so much and veganism is this and that. I didn't want that. I wanted people to be able to afford it. And once you start, like, I even looked into monk fruit instead of actual sugar. I looked at all these different other alternatives. And each time you change that, you start building that price up, you know. And I, like I said, I wanted to be affordable. Uh, that's one of the biggest things. I wanted to be good for the people, but I also want to be affordable and good for the people. It's not, you know, I, I'm not looking to charge sixty dollars for a tub of protein. That's not my. That's not the clientele I'm looking for. So, with the question, if the peas had been sprouted, with that question, does that cause an issue with the protein powder that the Peas were not sprouted. No, it doesn't. It, it gives it gives the it gives the protein more bioavailability. It, it actually makes the protein better. It's already at a good state. It just makes okay. the protein better. Thank you. Okay, so we talk a little bit about each week about what's your go-to recipe. Now you had a you had a recipe you sent us that you like to make a, a dish. What was that? You remember? Uh, was it the badass beautiful mess? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that's the badass beautiful mess. <laughs> um, the badass beautiful mess is basically um, it's funny because I made this on on Jane Unchained one time at at, at her house, um, but it's a bed of quinoa, and then you take uh, sweet plantains. I don't like to fry them. I just try to stay away from as much fried food as possible, so I bake them, and uh, you top that with the baked sweet plantain. Then you take grilled onions. You grill the onions, put that on top of there. You take guacamole, put that on top of there. And I, when I tell you, it sound, it's a beautiful mess. It literally sounds like it's too much. <laughs> Wait a minute, so let me ask you this, John. So one day you 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 went in your fridge and you said, dang, this all I have left is some quinoa, some That's plantain, exactly what it was. Some, onions, some guacamole. I'm gonna tell you this. This is how funny this story is. So my good friend Tori Washington, like one of my best friends. Um, if anybody knows who Tori Washington is, I never forget one day we were on the phone and I was like, and I was laughing. I wasn't even saying it in a sad way. Uh -huh. Like, bro, I literally have six dollars in my bank account, and it was kind of a laughing thing. And Tori was like, you know, that's gonna change for us, man. Just keep grinding. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm not even mad. I'm just saying it. And I was like, well, I'm about to go eat lunch. And I remember going in my in my. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. Well, I got some plantain, I got some quinoa, I got some onions, and I got some avocados. Let's go. Let's do what we got to do. And that's what happened. And you, sit, you know when you sit down at that meal and you go, are you kidding me? This is like so good. And you took that poor, meal, that poor man's vegan meal on Jane Unchained. <laughs> And the funny thing was, anybody that eats it, they're like, damn, man, this is amazing. I can't wait to make it. I know, and it sounds easy. So wait a minute. So, so wait. Give it to me again. Okay, so you get some some quinoa. Quinoa. Quinoa for the bed. Um, then you take you take the sweet plantain, slice that up, put 
put it around. Yeah, then you take the grilled onions, you put that on top as many as you want, depending on who you kissing at night. You do what you want to do. You know <laughs> Some people like just avocado, but I'm a guac person. I I really guac on top of the onion. And I put that on top, yeah. And then I, that's, yeah. It's just, I, it's, it's, it's a part in your mouth. That's all I can say. U-A-C-O-M-O-L-E. That's what it is. Okay, yeah. guacamole or yeah. avocados, avocados, right. and layer it, and layer it. And layer it. And just have fun. Just, and then that's it. So you don't have to reheat it after you're done? Like all together, and it's no, still cook it all the same time. I'm just, I'm and just you oh, so everything is still warm because you got the quinoa, yeah. you pull it out. That's so you lay a bed of quinoa. It's just it's just built up. Yeah, like a, like a yeah. lasagna. It's like just a built up vegan aggression. That's all it is. It's just. I got it. <laughs> so so that is your kind. Now, would you consider that a morning meal, an evening meal, or that's just any time? That's the that's, that's, like, that's like you need a you need one of them adult naps after oh, really? a stretch. Yeah, yeah. Really, from it's that? Stretch out meal. Because that's loaded. Meal. If you look at it, it's a lot of carbs you eat. Oh yeah, that's true too. So, but it's good. I mean, it's it's easy to burn the carbs that you're yeah. eating. Yeah. So okay. So now we know you got muscles, right? I wanted to see that muscle because I know that arm right there is that, like, that tattoo. So it's like little. Can you just roll your sleeve up or something? See, only because Bobby, I never flex with nobody. It's it's there. It's just not. <laughs> Okay. I show I, you know I, I tell them 43 I still kick it I still got okay. it so let's do this okay so you got the muscles and I know <laughs> the muscles I love muscles um so and I know that when you hit the gym people probably like you said they didn't even realize that you can gain you can build like that without eating because it was oh you gotta have protein oh you gotta have this oh you gotta have that and obviously you're not obviously not doing any kind of steroids because that would go against everything that no. you do and your body is naturally doing what it does, right? Exactly. So, so, so how do you have you transitioned a lot of people who see that? Because you know, they're well, not especially a, guys, especially that, guys, you know, they yeah. get so wound up about the protein. I, I, I have definitely helped people transition. Like I always say, you can't make anybody transition, you can just okay. open their eyes to what they already want to do. Yeah, do it. It's just, and I'm big on. I understand that I might not be the person to see the actual plant grow, but right. I'm going to plant the seed. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody else might have planted the seed and I'm the one that watered it. I think sometimes as humans, we just have too much ego involved and we like, well, I wanted to, want to, I wanted to plant the seed, grow it, cultivate it. Right. Yeah. And talk about it and then <laughs> brag about it. Cook it and serve it to you. Like, no, no, no. Like, I, we all got different steps. Like, somebody else might have planted the seed. I might be the one to water it. Somebody else might be the one to help pick it. It, it's, it's a group effort. And so for me, it's like if we just continue to all do our part and show how healthy and happy and striving and thriving that we are, that attracts more people, I, I believe, than being like upset because you don't want to listen to me. I try to tell you to go vegan. I'm like, look, I'll tell you, if you don't want to do it, I'm moving on. Like, it's all right, good. Get your little blue pills because I, I, you're going to have some in a minute. Yeah. You know, the about all that is that once you're on this side of the fence, you know what's up if we don't all transition. Exactly. Exactly. This, this is this is the whole thing. We all got to be on one. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, you know, it's like, hey, it's your journey. Do you walk your walk? But at the same time, this is so serious. This ain't no joke. This yeah. is not a joke. Your film states it. Yeah. We're dying from the way that we eat. We're killing the planet from the way that we eat, mm -hmm. and we're killing other sentient beings. Okay. We're making a mess of all of it, simply trying to nourish ourselves. And and then we got a we got a bad habit of we got a bad habit of protecting traditions that aren't even ours. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Habit of that. You please speak that. That is so true. Yeah, like we like one of the biggest researches I've been doing for the film. I've been doing it for a while, but. Um, so a lot of people don't, a lot of people just think I'm like this athlete or whatever, but like I have an undergrad in marketing. I got a, a, a master's in business and I started my PhD before I like really went into business myself. So when I go back, I'm finishing my PhD in epidemiology before, uh, after the film, which is the study of 
epidemiology. I'm just yeah. so silly. So you say epidemiology. Epidemiology. Okay. Okay. Epidemi I'm gonna go ahead. And, and one one of the biggest things I've seen is that one of the biggest epidemics is is what's happening to us from what we ingest. And as uh, you know, black indigenous people, we suffer from more disease that can be avoided than anybody. You know, we want to incorporate this uh, soul food as a tradition, but that tradition was given to us because we were living in a condition where we we had no choice. Right. And if anybody wants to understand the importance of getting rid of that soul food aspect of eating is if you were a slave on the plantation, if you were to go pick one of those fruits that they use you to grow, you lose your life. That's how important fruits and vegetables were. Oh, wow. That's deep. But they didn't give you that. They gave you, they gave the, you the trash. They gave you the ass of the pig and they gave you the intestines. And I'm the sorry. It's all right. It's no. Right. no, we ain't got to hide. That's what they no, did. That's, that's what they did. But they yeah. Know, some of us are still eating them intestines. Yeah, yeah. And that ass. Um, but. <laughs> It's a clean show now, John. <laughs> yeah, see, I just said it. I just said it. <laughs> you messed him up. <laughs> but no, like I, I, I believe that we really have it. We really embraced the wrong things. And now we're to the point of if somebody, imagine this. We're at a point if somebody, let's not even talk about veganism. Somebody's like, man, you know what? I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to stop drinking soda. I'm going to mm -hmm. stop drinking alcohol. People are like, man, you ain't gonna drink alcohol. What's wrong with you? Like, people look at people like that, like it's something wrong with them. You see what I'm saying? Like, in all honesty, alcohol is not a natural African thing to do. <laughs> it's not. Where in history did they show that alcohol was like the African thing to do? Right. right. That's another inherited trait that we did to mask our, our true selves. Mask our feelings, mask what we're going through, hide what we need to embrace, and, and it mostly trauma. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't, we don't, we ain't allowed to cry. We ain't allowed to feel. We ain't allowed to have compassion for nobody. But we can drink. We can drink mm -hmm. all day. Drink all day. Drink all day and eat all day. Mm -hmm. You know, and once we put them together. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like we we have so many habits that are a part of our lifestyle that aren't our habits. They're inherited from another culture that forced it on us. So that's what we have to, I, and that's what the film is about. Is because people don't change until they get mad in a relationship. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what that relationship is. What it is it, exactly? It can be with a woman. It can be with a company. It can be with food. It can I mean, be. With it was a relationship. Everything, everything is a relationship. You are what, so what is mother, father, sister, brother, yeah. boss. And once boss. you find out the other part of that relationship don't give a fuck about you, that's when you leave. So once you find out that the government literally has studies, literally has scientific studies that they know that this food is killing people of color, but they still allow it to be sold. Now it ain't their fault if you buy it no more. Mm, that's right. That's right. It's all on you. Right. So we, you know, we've had some cra uh, crazy projections of how many times this film will probably be seen, which is over probably over half a billion once it comes oh, out. Oh, it's going to so, be seen. It's yeah. Because be it's long overdue. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, Af uh, Afiare? Afiare wants to know what supplements should melanated people take and can you speak on vitamin D or any others? Thank I you. Say, this is what I always tell people. <laughs> to defend yourself in America, I don't have one, but I always think AK. A and K. A, -K. A through K, you need to take care of yourself with okay. A through K. I okay. don't care. There's so many, and I'm not going to sound bite and say that one company is better than the other. But there's so many vegan options out there for you to get it. I'm I'm a big believer on if you want to supplement, supplement. Don't let anybody give you shit about you trying to take care of yourself. Because you know, some people like, well, he vegan, but he takes supplements, or she vegan, but she takes supplements. It's like I was gonna ask you that because a lot of people say, well, it should be in the food. You eating all this healthy, clean stuff. Our Why food is, is depleted. Our food, oh, yeah, our food is, is not the same soil. 
it's our perfect. soil isn't the same soil that people two thousand years ago ate from. Mm -hmm. It's not. Is our air is not the same air that they had. Right. Our water is not the same water. Like, I, like when I tell people about fish, this is just a little segue. When I tell people about fish, and they're like, "Well, what about can I still eat fish?" I said, "Okay, let's just take an example. We breathe air. We filter damn near every mm -hmm. molecule of air that we breathe from our car to our office to our house to." the airplane, to the train, everything. We filter it as much as we can. And even today, we, you know, mask, whatever, what's going on? I said, okay, let us take a fish, for instance. What do they breathe? They say water. I said, okay, would you walk up to any stream, ocean, lake, anybody water and drink from it? No. Okay, if you wouldn't do that, what does the fish use to filter out what is breathing? Nothing. And you can't wash off DNA. That's a part of their DNA. You can put that under the sink all you want. You can put it in the stove all you want. That is a part of that animal. And you can't get it off. So that's one thing we have to think about when it when it comes to all that. So it's uh it's as far as supplementation, back to that A through K. Like for instance, my protein shake, stainless plug, I'm sorry. It does oh, oh, baby, yeah, it has A through K in it. I will say this too, and, and this is whether you're vegan or not, make sure you're getting B12. There, because it's not just a vegan thing where there's vegans that don't have enough B12 in their system. There, Everybody across the board should be getting their B12 in. And there are vegan supplements that are available for that. There's vegan foods that have it in there. Uh, a lot of them, sea vegetables are, are big um, uh, are big and having that available to the to the consumer of that. Do you have any that you suggest? Uh, I'm big on chlorella and spirulina. Um, it, it tastes like- Well, we use spirulina, like but you can use it in smoothies and you don't exactly. even- I was gonna say, if you, that's, I, that's, what I, that's what I was getting to. I don't want anybody to take a spoonful of that and think I was <laughs> trying to- I'm gonna need you to mix that in with something. I'm gonna need you to go mix that in with something. Um, but spirulina, uh, spirulina, chlorella, uh, even, um, uh, my gosh, uh, C, I don't know why I'm blanking out on this. No, not, well, sea moss as well, but, um, dang, what is it called? Yeah. Seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed. 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 Seaweed, yeah. Which, which is funny because growing up, you know, living in the South, if somebody told me eat seaweed, I'm like, man, I know. Yeah, I'm allergic to it. Certainly, I can't protect it. I'll be sitting there like this. Right. Well, you gotta look out for you gotta look out for the spirulina and the chlorella as well. But it's spirulina has actually been documented as one of the first plants to ever grow on the earth. Mm, really? That's why it's so nutrient dense because it has it's been here forever. But I think it's between spirulina and roaches. The many two things that's been here forever. Like okay, roach protein, no roaches. Baby. Roach protein. I ain't right trying to go that route. Oh uh, yeah, but no, we won't be going the roach protein route. No. Yeah, I saw somebody said mushrooms uh, do, mushrooms but, it's do but not for everyone. Yeah, a lot of people, I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. I love, I love them. I, and if you ever want to look at somebody that can can kill it in a vegan way, kill it when it comes to mushrooms, look at Wicked Healthy. They're uh, paid, it's two brothers named Derek Sarno and Chad Sarno. And when I tell you, you're going to look at their page and you're like, there's no way that's mushrooms. I mean, they make mushroom look like filet mignon. Like, they don't play. Wow, yeah. I got to check them out. Wicked Healthy. It's Wicked Healthy. Two brothers out of uh, New England. But now one lives in Austin, Texas. The other one lives in, actually lives in England now. He he, is, he used to be the global executive chef for Whole Foods. So everything mm -hmm. he used to get at Whole Foods that was in the hot bar, he was the one that was that did that. But oh, he was eating, so it kind of messed with his soul. And he right. got of it. And now he's at England at Tesco, which is the largest, uh, I think, chain of like Walmart or whatever up there. Uh -huh. And he's in charge of all uh, vegan brands that come in. They even have their own vegan brand, which is called Wicked Wicked Kitchen or something. I think it's called over there. But like they, they, when I tell you, them boys know how to throw down. They know how to throw down. Okay, and they're in, in England, London. One is one is here still in Austin, Texas. Oh. Okay, so then when we go back to Austin. London, yeah, at Austin, we got to go check them out because I love everything mushrooms. Yeah, I can eat me some mushrooms. So yeah. okay, so what else is coming up? So we got the we've got the book, we've got, we've the, got the doc, we've got the children. 
We've got the PhD. Um, is there anything else? For anything else? Yeah, sweet. That's it. I just had. Yeah. Well, you got to work out because how many? How often? What is your yeah, workout regimen? What's your workout regimen? Well, my workout regimen right now is five days a week. I finally got it to where it's kind of like a my two days off is respected. Like I, I don't even want to. I don't want to look at the weight. I don't want. You, you go hard. You go hard, right? Are weight you doing hard. it at home now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, that was the thing. The funny thing was, I was always stocking up my home gym. Like, it, you know. You were getting ready. And yeah. You I, know why, huh? I went to the gym all the time. I will be like, ooh, that's nice. I need to put that in my house. All right. And I have friends like, dude, you go to the gym. Why you buy that? And then after this all hit, everybody like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I had the bench press, the kettlebells, the free weights. I even got the the blow, uh, bow flex, uh, select text that go up to 50. Uh -huh. So uh, five days a week, how, 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 um, how, how James, how some, some said, badass vegan, please read what? Please, what? Oh. Link. Badass vegan, please read this. I don't I, know what this is, so. I think it might be that. List fast food chains that are reportedly supporting Trump's re-election. Okay, so you guys, make sure you check that out. Um, and let's stop eating there if you do. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so pull up bar, I got everything here and jump rope. And so, I'm I, that's gonna be part of the book that I'm writing too. Is I'm developing a 12 week program, and tomorrow I start week eight, so I got four more weeks to go. And this is oh, five, five because it started week eight, so I got five more weeks to go. And uh, what I've been doing as far as the cardio thing is I, I started off walking 2.75 miles and then I jogged the last quarter mile. That was the first week. And each week, I basically shipped a quarter mile over. So I walk two and a half, then I run half. Then I walk 2.25, then I run 0.75. But I'm doing it with a 20-pound weight vest on, too. So Whoa. Like, Yeah. So and, and I bulked up for this on purpose just to see what I could do. So I got up to 250. So I, start, I basically was running at 270. What? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm a masochist when it comes like I I honestly feel like if I can do it, then why don't I do it? And it, I, and, and, and when you and when you don't do it, doesn't your body body feel like something's like missing? Yeah, like from I, my day? I will say this: I'm starting week eight tomorrow, and I haven't missed a day in eight weeks. Like I haven't missed a day. But you said, but you know what? When you eat well, mm -hmm. it, that that's a discipline in itself. You know what I mean? And yeah. when you get used to doing that. And you see how great you feel, then all the aspects of your life kind of follow suit. Well, now you do anything, that's how you do everything at that point. Let's be honest. You could be a little vain about it too. You when you start liking the way you look too, you like, man, you you look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, let's do let's do the real test. I really like guys, guys can deny it all they want, but they look too. No, me and a friend of mine talk about that all the time. I said the naked test. When you get in the mirror, and one time I was I got in the mirror, I was like, oh, I would do me. Yeah. You know, I, like, I didn't even. No, you didn't. Yes, you I did. Hey, like, I got it. I got you it. You got it, right? It's you like, it. the any, naked fellas, any fellas in the room, if there are any, women like nice butts, too. Like, don't yes. be neglecting. Yes. Don't be neglecting that, that yes. back side and them legs. Like, don't yes. do it. I know, because guys like to build up here. Yeah. So what about butt? them little legs? Little legs. I tell I, I tell them like man, you better hey, they might act like they're not looking, they looking. They, oh, they trust, <laughs> trust. And we talking and we got signals. We got signals. Like the number fingers to tell you which one goes with what. So oh wild. no, 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 no. We really do. Oh, for she real. She got signals. Oh, Rebecca knows. She does too. Don't you know? Right? My bad, like over there. How you telling my secrets? Like, <laughs> She got signals. But you don't know what the signals are. So just, no, walk, yeah. just like the guys turn around, just like when girls walk down the street and guys, you always catch them turning around looking. Oh, after y'all look, we look. <laughs> so just know that's how it goes. So you might want to do some more squats. But yeah. But John, you look at what what were you going to say? No, I'm just saying the you know, it's it doesn't have to be cocky. It's just a confidence level that comes with it. Right. Like, 
And you want to feel that accomplishment of like, oh man, I took care of myself. Like that is, that's huge. That's a huge this gift. This is the greatest gift that the universe could ever give you. This the great, the, the opportunity to do this thing called life. This, this, this what? entire opportunity is just amazing. And when you take it serious and you try to last as long as you can last with a good quality in it. Quality over quantity. Quality, quality over quantity. quantity. Yes. Yeah. All day long. And don't need no pills. And don't need no pills. Yeah, and ain't gotta be on medication. You know what? I'm just, I'm just, I'll be Please. 70 in a few months. I know, right? But my point is, it's this lifestyle. And we all have that to look forward to. Somebody said today, you you don't even look like you're 69. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm looking just exactly Thank like you. 69 is supposed to be. We talk about this all the time. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing special. I'm just living. Okay, so I'm not doing no magic tricks, no nothing. However, I'm very, 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 very concerned with what I put in my system. Yeah. Period. I think look mm -hmm. the way to look, it's just that we've gotten accustomed to what the beat up version of us is. Exactly. Like. Right. Somebody doesn't do it, we like, ooh, they 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 cheat. They cheat. And they ain't special worth the shit. It's <laughs> like I ain't doing nothing special. But 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 the other thing they always say is, remember we were on some show. And she was like, well, what kind of work does she have done on her face? I said, none. And it was like, wait, wait, well, they're lying. You know, they're lying. They don't want to tell anyone. They don't right. want to tell anyone. Black can last a very, well, most people can last very long when you take care of yourself. Yeah. You can't start after it's too late. Right, right. You right. can have a healthy even lifestyle. Even if you kind of make it, you can make a difference. You might right. not get where you feel right. good. But I, I, I had a saying, and I, it's been a while since I posted it. You might go make me post it again. I said, we're born looking like our parents, but we die looking like our decisions. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. That was loud. You got to put that. Yeah. <laughs> I get loud sometimes, y'all. Right in her full little yeah, ear. Four years. I can't hear nothing. I don't know what you said. That's why she got the hair down. It's kind of a book. And you know, see? You know. And if I'm not, I got I got a rap on the cover. You know, it's why? True. We're born looking like our parents, but we die looking like our decisions. That's beautiful. You got to put that up again, boo. Yeah. <laughs> you make me a flyer. I want to put it up. Okay. Well, that's his name. You can I don't care. I just share his name. I'll just put, put it up. I'll put his name. John Lewis okay. okay. down there. That makes sense. Okay. But anyway, you know what? Baby John. Baby John. John Lewis Jr., badass vegan. Well, that's our half hour. I it's mean, that's gone. Hour. It's gone. So, but what I want to say is, guys, make sure you follow. Where can people see you? Where can they follow? Uh, you? I'm on the badass vegan everywhere Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I even think I got a Pinterest account out there somewhere. <laughs> it's out there. It's out there. Um, also, I think Google, Google Plus. Uh, it's just bad as bad as yeah, I kept it synonymous. I even trademarked it. So no, it, it's it's, uh, it's no S because I know there's badass begins. I know that, and that yeah. wasn't you. No, 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 and and that's the that's the bad part because like I, like I said, I've been doing this for. Since Instagram started, I had the company. You know, ten years. It's been ten years since I had the company, and and I, I try to tell people like I'm not trying to be mean when I tell them like, hey, I got this trademark. You gotta stop that because a lot of times when people end up like trying to sell shirts and trying to sell this stuff, and then they don't send the product out. People come at me, and they mad like I paid you this money, and you didn't pay me. I'm like, no, no, no. Go check the account. They took your money. I'm do it. So that's why I try to like I try to tell people stop all the time. Uh, so Will Tucker, what's up, Will Tucker? Well, you see Will, Will? Yeah, he he just said good to see y'all at the end. Hey, Will. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, that's Will. Will. Will Tucker. Hi, Will. Yes. We got yeah, Will. Will. <laughs> okay, we gotta get Will on. Yeah. Okay, well, Will can come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I know we got two minutes left, but I gotta say, only black people do that when they love somebody. You know. Will will like just you know, <laughs> you know, not John Will or Mike Will. You know Will Will. Will, will. You know my bet, my bet. Not not the other my bet. My bet, my bet. Champagne. Yeah, champagne. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see you, and thank you everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much. And um, 
Badass Vegan here, and thank you. Lots of love, baby, Lots to of you. Love. And the new baby, too. Give a kiss to both of them and your, your he wife. Ain't no baby. He ain't no baby no more. He yeah, I know. He, so quick. He just turned two, and he's already three foot and 40 pounds. Stop. That boy's a beast. He just, two already, you six, baby. Six? Yeah, I'm six six. So he, I'm oh, six six two thirty. So he ain't got no choice. He ain't got no choice. Time no choice. just is going by so fast. Look, sweetheart, thank you so much. We love you. Stay healthy. Keep spreading the word. Uh, John Clark said I'm going, going to follow. To follow. Go follow. Go follow. We got some good information. And uh, Josh, Joshua helps me with something. Oh, Josh, oh guys, is so much yeah. fun. Josh is so much fun. Josh is helping me. Babette and I have a new platform called Reclaim Haven. Mm -hmm. And Josh has been helping us develop that. So we'll tell you lots more about it with workshops and things. It's going to be really great. So uh, that's Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Um, anyways, is this Snooky? Snooky Indigo. Thank Snooki. you, ladies. Snooky. Oh, Snooky. I'm Snooky. Snooky. Snooky now. And she just followed you. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all follow us, too, if you're not yeah. following us. I think they already follow y'all if they in here. I know, because you know what? we hard. I'm horrible with social media. I be forgetting all the time to tell people to follow me. Anyway. <laughs> Love Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Stay safe, baby. Go when you lift weights tomorrow, lift for me because I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. Bye, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 All righty, guys. Thank yeah, you all so much. Fun another show. fun, fun show. And next week, we have Dom Z. Woo! Another Ooh. hunky, gorgeous, hot, hot. Two, two, we got two hots in a row. Two hots in a Two hots in a hot. Wow, well, that was so cool. Did you say too hot to the hop? What just, did you say? I didn't say hop. I didn't know what you said. I'm asking. Too hot to the hop. Oh, and a hop. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, okay. I too hot to say something. I wanted to be clever. Oh, look at Bina. Bina, that's right. We Bina. did a shea butter. Oh, Bina. We, we did. We showed it earlier, guys. This is Bina shea butter. We want to do it again. She um, says, hey, Taryn from Chef Abel. I haven't cooked with Monday. it yet. Great show tonight. How has the shea butter been? I put it on my skin. And I put it everywhere, and I was telling everyone how, and I want to tell you guys again, just in case you tuned in late. Facebook page. This is the Shea Africa. Butter for Bean, Bina Nakawuki, and she's out of London, and this is some of the best Shea Butter I have ever, ever, ever. and I'm not just promoting, but look, it's soft. It's not like the kind of rips your skin before you use it, and you can cook with it. I have not cooked um, Bina because I have not cooked yet, so since my fasting, I haven't done anything, but... I'm going to try it. No, we love the shape of it. It's the Vena. best. So you Pearl guys can Africa. find the, her Facebook page is Pearl of Africa, and you can find the organic shape of Thank you. Page. And we will see you guys next week. Next and thank week. you and love you all. And bye-bye. Bye. We got to get a theme song so we can play it out. Well, we should sing something. Not next week. We'll sing something next week. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.